Hi. In today's scenario, we're going to return an item back into inventory from a customer, and then we're going to take that item that we've returned and return it to the vendor or supplier it came from. So we can see from my item inquiry for my dual core server, I have 38 in stock and I've sold two. So let's take a look at those. Here we have my customer, Joe's computer, and you can see I have invoice 2265. And let's take a look at that. And here's where you can see invoice 2265 and see where I sold two of these dual core servers to Joe. And now Joe has called me up and said uh, he's sending one of them back. It was damaged or he didn't need it for whatever reason. We're going to receive that back into our inventory and then return it to our vendor. So what I'm going to do first is create a return so uh, in sales order processing so I can update Joe's account accordingly. So I am issuing a return for Joe for these uh, for one of these dual core servers. Now I could copy the invoice but I'm going to go ahead and just manually key it in and I'm receiving one back and I do get the sales return quantities entry window asking me where I want to put it. And I'm going to put it back in returned. I could also put it in as damaged if I wanted to. And actually, why don't we do that? Why don't we make it damaged? So let's make that damaged. There it is. Okay. Excellent. We'll click OK. And now I'll click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and post this return to Joe's account. So we'll come back up and look at Joe's inquiry screen and redisplay. And now I can see the return and the original invoice. I do need to go in and manually apply that return to the invoice. So let's take a look at our inventory card. We'll pull that back up. So now I have 38 on hand still, same amount. I've sold one and I have one sitting as damaged. And it is this one damaged one that I'm concerned about. And I want you to pay attention to where it was returned to. Um, I had it returned back to the site called Warehouse and not to my north site. So I want to make sure that I uh, return it from damage or from the warehouse site, otherwise I will not see it. So in the purchasing series, we're going to choose Returns Transaction Entry. And again, our type that we'll be talking about now is inventory because the purchase order has long been received. Now we could do uh, take an item in inventory and return it back to a vendor uh, that has uh, been transferred, that has just been made uh, uh, deemed uh, damaged from an inventory adjustment or an inventory variance from any of the general uh, inventory transaction entry types or a return in SOP. So these are all options available to us. So I'm going to send it back and I do want to credit against my vendor account. So actually let's take a quick look at the vendor account. And our vendor here was Cali and Cali Engineering and we could see the original invoice right here and no credit memo associated with it. Our returns transaction entry window. All right, so I'm going to issue in an RMA number that I would have received from Cali Engineering. And I have no purchase order to receive it against. And because I chose inventory, you'll notice that that is completely dimmed out. So I'm going to go straight to item and do a lookup. And I'll select my item from all my items. And if I went to receipt, you're going to see this return. It's not a purchase order receipt. You can see the receipt number as my sales order processing return and that it is in the inventory site called warehouse. So I'm going to select that one and the quantity I want is one. Now there are a couple options up here at the top. Replace return goods. So if I want my supplier or vendor to replace the goods, I can mark that and it would generate a PO for me so that it would end up showing up on a PO. The other option is something I cannot change and that's because I did select the credit option and that's invoice expected for return goods because I told the system I wanted to receive a credit for it then it's automatically marked for me. 
So I'm going to go ahead and post this. Here is the item. It's automatically selected for me because it knew uh, or the serial number. It, it's automatically selected because it knew which uh, receipt I had selected and that I was selected all of them. So let's go ahead and post that. So now if we pull up our vendor again, you could see this RMA that I just did. We could issue a credit and apply that. And I also want to show you the inventory item count. So let's go back. And now I no longer have that one is damaged. So I straight as um, the sold the negative amount there. And that's because I returned it against the wrong warehouse. OK, so that's a great way of using returns in purchase order processing. Hope this helps.